those that are agitating or are asking for uh, for protest are Nigerians, they are our brothers, they are our sisters, they are all Nigerians. Guys, so in a bid to forestall and call the upcoming protests that Nigerian youth have planned to protest, the Bala Ahmed Tinubu's administration and the Federal Executive Council of the APC government has called an emergency meeting. The Secretary of the State of the Federation in person of Georgia Kume has come out to give details of the meeting. Normal meetings that uh, we, we, we do from time to time. Uh, you know that we didn't hold a Federal Executive Council meeting this week. And uh, we thought that it is good that we all come together to uh, discuss. Um, and you can see that this is not happening at the Council Chambers. It's happening at the Office of the SGF. Uh, many of the ministers are here. We have discussed the issues of uh, national interest. And uh, all of us are working for Nigeria. And we hope and we believe that... Um, and Nigeria is going to be great again. No one is going to sleep. Um, those that are agitating or are asking for, uh, for protest are Nigerians. They are our brothers, they are our sisters, they are all Nigerians. And uh, uh, those also in position of authority, the ministers, uh, the president, and everybody are all Nigerians. All. Uh, so this is a family matter. This is a Nigerian family issue. And um, all of us are looking at this issue uh, very well. And we do hope that uh, peace will prevail at the end of the day. Engagement has always been an ongoing thing. This is not a peculiar uh, situation. Um, engagements have been ongoing. Uh, the president has met several with all key stakeholders. I have also been meeting with key holders. Other government uh, functionaries are meeting with other key stakeholders. Uh, engagement is going to continue uh, in the interest of Nigeria. We'll continue to engage. Uh, we know uh, this is a country that all of us have. At the end of the day, Nigeria is going to be better for all of for, 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 for it. While waiting for another stretch of approximately 45 minutes, another set of ministers came out. As we quickly approached the youth minister, who also appealed to the youth to maintain calm and restraint while reiterating the federal government's commitment to the 110 billionaire youth intervention plan to support youth navigating turbulent business times. I would um, sincerely and genuinely advise my fellow young Nigerians to dissociate themselves from the disassociate themselves from the planned protests because it's uh, it's not uh, it's 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 really not a good um, uh, act for the nation. We must all stand in solidarity with the nation and um, beyond supporting government we need to look at the entire Nigerian project and how what uh, I mean the impacts of the economic reforms, especially the macroeconomic reforms of the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu administration. You've seen it for yourself. Now, the truth is that from the words of George Akome, I didn't get anything to go by. Let's take a look at some of the demands of the protesters who are intending to hit the road on August 1st. First of them is that they have demanded that fuel price should be reduced to 100 naira per liter. The second is that they have, this, they have demanded that the government should address the insecurity and hunger, combat insecurity and hunger by closing all IDP camps and settling the coppers. The third of them is that they have said there should be an electoral reform, implement, implement total electoral reform and conduct an independent probe into the electoral budget of 355 billion naira. Fourth, Release NSAS detainees. Immediately release all NSAS protesters still in detention. Five, living wage. Implement a living wage with minimum wage of 300,000 naira. Number six, free education. Compulsory free education for primary and secondary schools and an education grant in the tertiary level. Seven, public school mandate. Ensure that children of the public office holders attend public schools in the country. Eight, support local products. The government must patronize many Nigerian goods. 